Hey guys, welcome to 8 Parkour. Today I'm going to be going over pre precision landings. So precision landings uh, come after you've gotten good at just balancing on the rail. Um, so if you haven't seen our tutorial on how to balance on a rail, um, in the perch position particularly, you want to go check that out. Um, so once you can balance on the right part of your foot, which is your metatarsals or your, the knuckles of your feet, and you can contr you, you're good at using your chest and your hips in counterbalance to control your balance, then you're going to start to try and jump and land there into that position. First thing you want to do when you're trying it out is make sure that you find a rail. Um, and it doesn't matter what height it's at, you just have to make sure that you're comfortable with jumping at it and bouncing back off of it, or jumping at it and going off the other side of it safely. Once you have a rail that you want to use, then your next job is to take a step and jump and land on two feet. And without collapsing into your knees and hips and back, basically, you, you want to control your descent into that perch, balanced perch position. When you start to get more speed and doing a bigger jump, you're going to have more forward momentum and you're going to need to counteract that by when you land, pushing your butt back um, proportionately to how much forward momentum you need to counterbalance or counteract. So it will look like this once you're running. Run, 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 land, push your butt back. If I felt like I had a lot of momentum, which I didn't, but I exaggerated, um, then I would push my butt back harder to counteract whatever is going forward. Of course, if I counteract too much, then I'm going to fall backwards. Pushing your butt back when you land is also the only thing that saves your knees sometimes from taking too much anterior loading. If you want to put a, a rock or a brick or something stable that you can step off of, and so that you can start to measure how far your precision jump in terms of heel to toe what your feet is, or actual, actually measure it with a measuring tape, however you want to do it. Usually parkour people just measure stuff like this about and to estimate how far they can jump, but um, then you want to get an idea of how far you can jump and safely do that. Um, so when you're not comfortable doing the bail off either the front or the back of the rail, then you know it's too far to um, drill and practice. So as the jump gets bigger, the risk becomes higher, and as long as you're landing on two feet at the exact same time, you're good to practice. If you ever start landing uncontrollably on one foot more than the other, even, even with a slight timing difference, it's still taking more load into the one leg initially, and it makes it more dangerous. So you want to stick to a distance that you can land at least on two feet at the same time and bounce back before um, you try going to actually do, the, do a bigger one. Once you start getting the technique down, you can also um, just come up with exercises that will be drills just for the strength and power of your legs um, themselves, not just the technique. So, um, or even if you want to drill technique a lot and it's, it's hard on your knees and, and hips to always be jumping on concrete, you can find something soft to land on, like a mat. And you can drill more of those because it's uh, easier on your, on your joints when you're landing, just for the pure strength, power, and technique benefit of being able to do it a lot of times. You're ready to advance your precision. You start doing a uh, more run, uh, a precision from a run or a precision on um, a higher rail or something that increases the complexity. But if you're just go if you're going to start doing, you know, maximal jumps and big impacts, then there's a couple of things you want to be able to do before you try those. The first thing is if you're going to jump, run and jump off something like this onto something like this. Uh, you want to be able to do a rebound, which I'll show you right now. The reason you want to be able to do that is because you want to be fully confident with uh, not making it to the top. 
because if you go for the jump and you don't make it to the top, um, and that was your only only option for being safe, then uh, then it's going to end badly. So you want to practice the rebound before you go for the actual full power jump. And once you got the rebound, you can start to get the rebound higher and higher and higher until it looks like this. So now I can start safely and comfortably going to the top without uh, feeling like I have a lot of adrenaline, like I'm in some kind of uh, fight or flight scenario. I'm not nervous about it at all because I know what's going to happen at the very bare minimal. All I'm going to do is just bounce off the wall. Parkour. Every time you do something bigger, you need to go back to the rebound just to make sure and build up to going to the top again.